I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Tuesday morning, the 13th of February, 2024, and this is your friend, Angus Bucken, with a thought for the day. We start off in the book of 2 Peter, chapter 2, and I'm reading the whole of verse 1. But there were also false prophets among the people, even as there will be false teachers among you who will secretly bring in destructive heresies, even denying the Lord who bought them and bring on themselves swift destruction. False prophets, false teachers misleading God's people and bringing in destructive heresies. We really need to be very wise when we are listening to people teaching the Word. You know, when I was a young man, we were new Christians. Jill and I, we were so zealous for the Lord, so excited to serve Him. There were a group of people came from overseas. They were extremely convincing. They spoke beautifully. And they came to visit us on the farm. And the one man said, you know, this farm of yours does not belong to you. It belongs to God. I agreed wholeheartedly. I said, I want to do whatever God wants me to do. He said to me, you need to sell this farm and you need to give the proceeds into our ministry. And uh, I had an uneasy feeling in my heart. And he was quite upset with me when I didn't respond immediately. I said, I'm going to pray about it, and then I will come back to you. And Jill and I went and we prayed because we felt very uneasy. You see, the Lord had given us a foundational scripture when we gave our lives to him. I was wanting to go to Bible college and become a pastor. And I'd gone up into the mountains and I'd prayed about it. And the Lord had showed me very clearly that we need to remain on Shalom because he has a work to do through us on this farm. And the scripture he gave us was 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8, which says, And God is able to make all grace abound towards you, that you, always having all sufficiency in all things, may have an abundance of for every good work. In other words, stay on the farm. God will supply your needs and more than you need so that you can give to others and use this place as a witness for God. I went back to him and I said to him, sorry, I am not selling this farm. God has told me I need to keep it because he wants to use it. He was extremely upset with me. But I want to tell you folks, if I had listened to that false teaching, I don't know where we would be today. Whatever people tell you, make sure it lines up with the Word of God. If it does not, disregard it immediately. Jesus bless you and goodbye.